Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing distress locks for my clients and I will be using color 30. For this style, I used about six packs of hair and then she wanted, I think, a short but I mean, it seems like a bob, but it's a short hairstyle. And now I am going to start braiding her hair individually. And I have about 52 um, blocks count for this style. Um, I'll also be doing the free part. So there's no shape to it or anything. Just straight up, just freestyling. And people have asked me, do you save more time doing this type of parts? Or do you save more time doing... Um, the box. I feel like you save more time doing this one because I don't, I don't need to create a rectangle or like a long line before I start making my boxes. So it saves way, 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 way more time. So, but this, yeah, this is my favorite part um to do for my clients. When they want this, then I would be done in like no time. Also, I have this link in my description box i'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of my clients here and i'll be right back so now as you can see i'm counting the locks because i feel like sometimes i forget to count my client locks and then people ask me i don't even know what to even tell them so i'm just counting it right now and after that we're going to go straight into wrapping also for this style i use one and a half to start wrapping and i use two strands to um continue wrapping again let me repeat that i use one and a half to start wrapping and i use two strands to um finish up my wrapping again um i feel like i love to finish i don't care no matter what happened i have to continue wrapping or finish wrapping with a thicker a thicker strand so even if you want to use one strand to start wrapping and you want to finish one and a half i always make sure that the, the my second um intake in here is always thicker than the first one because I want it to have like this um natural um flow. I don't want the roots to be too bulky. I'd rather my ends to be bulky. Oh god my voice. Okay so I rather my ends to be bulky. I don't like my um the roots to be thick bulky because it's not gonna have like this nice flow and it's not gonna make it like fall because if you have more density towards the ends of your braids, it tends to fall more. But if you have a lot of density at the roots of your hair, then it makes it look kind of stiff. I also will be doing the natural um duration for this. Like I don't wanna you know, speed it up because I don't know. There's actually no point. So again, I'm going to crochet my hair in again. People have asked, do, I, do they have to do this crochet part? You really don't have to, but because of... Before now, I used to do my... Oh, God, what is wrong with my voice? <clears throat> before now, I used to, like, just wrap it like that without a crochet. And I've had issues in the past, so I just started doing this method because I clearly last for me. So when I say I take out, I am just creating, like, a nice loop using my thumb. So just a... A little loop and then wrap over the loop and then um under the loop I don't know if I explained that correctly but and for this just locks I'm like in the middle it's not too tight it's not too loose for my butterfly locks I make it as loose as possible because I want the curves to pop and I don't fluff my butterfly lock um locks as long as uh, the way I fluff my this locks so this one I made in the middle, it's not too tight and it's not too loose either. Butterfly locks, um, it's always loose and I fluff it whereby the curls from the hair can pop because that is what I need to create the like nice curly um look without having to use a curly, a different curly hair. So I'm gonna show you how I seal the ends of my um locks, but first this is how I attach the hair. So People have asked, how oh, can they get waistlines? All you have to do is just keep attaching hair. As you can see, I'm attaching hair, and I'm going to keep wrapping it. So if I want to make the hair longer, I am going to do the same thing for a butt length, a waist length, a mid-back length, and all that stuff. So, and then I use this hair for all the length that I do for my clients anyways. So to seal the ends, I'm just wrapping, sorry, so I'm just wrapping all the way, um, back up to still the end i'm going to start with the shortest one and i'm going to use the long one to just make it a bit tighter and rub it with my palm and then i'm just good to go usually my first locks is looking like what i don't know but after that like 
they just start looking um really really nice and they all would look because all the locks cannot be the same again because it's not braids it's a messy hairstyle so you might have some locks that are like extra messy and some that are not too messy but at the end of the day it's going to come out looking really really gorgeous also when it comes to the hair that you can use you can use spring to say you can use whatever hair you want to use but i only trust spring to here and of course you can use any brand of spring to hair because but some brands come really skinny and some come thick so i love the ones that come thick and that is what i use for my clients again i am going to do the, i'm going to do um the same thing for the rest of my clients here and um and that'll be all also, I'll be using the hot water to kind of like steam my client's hair just so it's not so stiff. Again, it's not stiff, but I just do that just for extra um flexibility. You don't have to, but I do that for my clients and it makes them feel good and they definitely um do feel better when I'm done with that. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Hopefully, I have a client that wants to do waistlines. And I'll be able to show you guys that. Every time I have waistline, I just forget to record for the messy locks. But I promise you on my next one, I will be recording. I have a video of a meat back. So, um, hopefully, that would help when it comes to... Um, how you can use the same hair for whatever length that you want. Anyway, see you guys in my next video and be safe and stay blessed.
maestro. 